everybody. My name is Jennifer Kirby and I am a leader with Rodan and Fields from Pinehurst, North Carolina, but I'm coming to you right now from the beach, which is so appropriate because um, it exemplifies one of my favorite things about this business, which is the flexibility it offers. It really is a business that you can work from anywhere, work it around your life, work it in the nooks and crannies of your days, anywhere you have Wi-Fi, and I appreciate that so much. Um, so just to tell you a little bit about myself, I, uh, my professional background is in real estate primarily, and that was a career that I loved, but in 2009 and 2010, my husband and I had two babies within 16 months of each other. You might be able to see them in the background in the ocean. Um, and I, you know, realized all of a sudden I couldn't be at the beck and call of my real estate clients like I had been for the years before. I wanted to be at home with my kids and be present with them and raise them while they were young. And so I transitioned out of real estate, but at that point as a stay at home mom, I started an Etsy shop because I really do love to work. And it's also really important to me to have something of my own. And so I started an Etsy shop and it was so perfect for that season of life for a few years. I really could work just a little here and there as the kids slept. When we went on vacation, I put it on vacation mode and didn't think about it. It was a little extra income and a creative outlet and it was awesome. But as the shop grew, um, the stress grew, and by the Christmas season of 2015, it was really overwhelming. I was working 10 or 12 hours a lot of days to fill all the orders, and you know it was so frustrating because I realized that the main reason that I had started that shop in the first place was for time freedom, and I really wasn't experiencing that at all at that point. I was a slave to um, orders. So I realized something had to change. And around that time is when Rodan and Fields first hit my radar and at first I was not interested at all because I was a total snob about drug sales but I did know that it had that residual income component that is the key to working smarter not just harder so I did a little bit of research and I was actually um, surprised to be impressed by what I found I was impressed by the doctors themselves Dr. Rodan and Dr. Fields are two Stanford trained world-renowned dermatologists and you know they've, they'd already founded one one powerhouse global brand and proactive which I had never used personally but I had a lot of friends who did and I certainly knew the name and, and I knew that that kind of brand recognition the ability to do it once meant you could do it again with a second company um, which voted well for Adana Fields as a company um, and I also learned several things about the business structure of Adana Fields that really set it apart from a lot of other direct sales companies um, for one thing our products are consumable so our clients love our products, they use them every day, they wash them down the sink, and then they, they come back to buy more, which is a great thing for consultants. It means that we're not constantly having to search out new customers. Um, number two, our business is virtual. We literally, we don't hold inventory, we don't handle deliveries or returns, we don't take payment, um, we don't manage accounts. It's very hands-on for us. We just have a website and Wi-Fi, and that is incredibly freeing. Uh, number three, we are not a party-based company. Now, if you want to have parties, go for it. It's your business to work the way you want to work it, but I didn't want to have to beg my friends to host events for me, and I don't have to. If, if we were a party-driven company, that would have been a deal breaker for me, but we're not, and I'm thankful. And the last thing about it is, um, you know, our market is everyone with skin, and that's a lot of people. Our market is bottomless. So, um, armed with all that information, I, you know, talked to a friend who was in the business and I eventually ended up signing up. And, and I just want to say this, I did not have it all figured out when I said yes. I had lingering questions and reservations and doubts. And, um, but in the end, I just, I decided I didn't want to have to wonder. I wanted to find out if this could be everything that it seemed it could be. And I didn't want to look back and wonder what might have been if I had just said yes and given it a try. So that's what I would leave you with. Um, you're probably feeling apprehensive too. You certainly have questions. Everybody comes here with questions and objections at first, but that's okay. Um, I would just encourage you not to let your fears and your hesitations and your doubts be in charge. Don't let them let you miss out on what could be the best decision you ever make. Don't let them keep you from following your dreams. Um, so I really hope that you will circle back to the person who invited you to this event Hear what they, are, they have to say and take a leap of faith because all the best stuff really is on this side of the comfort zone. Um, 
that's all I've got for you. I hope you guys will look back at all of the posts that we've had in this event, comment on all of them so you'll be eligible for the raffles to win some great free products. And we look forward to chatting with you more and hopefully welcoming some of you to our team in the near future. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks for your time. Good night.